Hey, what's up guys? It's Brando with Brando Sports World here, and today we're doing team number 23, the Miami Hurricanes out of Florida. Their head coach is Mario Cristobal, a former alumni of Miami, so you know he's been wanting to put his heart and soul into this because this is his dream job, and now he has his dream job. However, his first year did not go how they anticipated, and granted, they probably look at it as a rebuilding year, and you might as well. At the end of the day, you guys want to get back to a bowl game and you want to start showing how dominant of a program Miami was and how much they can be. So last year, they went 5-7 and seven overall. They were 3-5 and five in the conference and obviously were kind of disappointed with how it turned out. Now, Mario Cristobal is an amazing head coach. He showed his pedigree when he was at Oregon. He had a 35-13 and 13 record while he was there. And prior to that, he didn't do so hot. He was 27 and 47 at Florida International. So after a rough season at Miami in year one, Mario Cristobal is looking to have much more success running into year two. He landed his dream job at Miami where he's an alumni and he left Oregon where he had a ton of success. One of the things that they need to do is they need to go find some serious playmakers on offense and they have the talent in that area and some of the surrounding areas to do just that. But more importantly, they need to find that defense in a hurry. Five games last year, their defense let opponents score 40 points or more. That is absolutely horrible, and that will definitely not win you games. This year, though, is year two, and Mario Cristobal is looking to change that narrative, and I think he does. What's up, guys? If you're new to the channel, please like the video and certainly subscribe. I have so much great content coming for you guys out of the ACC conference. Content about Miami Hurricanes and what's going to happen with their season, as well as content for all across the college football landscape. So definitely subscribe to the channel and see what else we have coming down for you. All right, guys, game one here. It's a game against another Miami team, Miami, Ohio. I always wondered as a kid if these were the same teams, and I didn't understand what the OH was and the FL was. Granted, this was before I hit first grade, second grade, when I really started watching football. But I found out very quickly how dominant they were. It was the FL team, the Florida Miami Hurricanes. You guys, you handle your business here against the Red Hawks. You win this one 45 to 10. Your offense has a really strong showing, so they found their playmakers they were looking for, and they have an early test this season against Miami, Ohio, to really flex their muscles. Meanwhile, you let them only score 10 points, so hopefully that's a fruit. So hopefully that's something good to come, showing that your defense is ready to start the season strong. Week number two, a game against Texas A&M. Now this is a very tough out of conference opponent. But if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I don't have very much faith in Jimbo Fisher and what he's doing down there in Texas A&M. Guys, I know that they have the talent, and you will as well, but I honestly think you really show out to this game, and you win this one 35-27 with a very strong statement win in Week 2. Week number 3 is a game against Bethune-Cookman. These guys have no business showing up on the same field as you, and you kick them back where they went, went uh, and you kick them back where they came from. You win this one 63 to 10. Week number four, after a very strong showing in week three against a very outclassed Bethune Cookman team, you guys go up against the Temple Owls. This is an away game, but Temple is another team that also has no business being on the same field as you. Your offense shows up strong here today, and you win this one 45 to 17. Week number five, it's a game against Georgia Tech. Your defense has been doing absolutely phenomenal. Now you come up against a Georgia Tech team looking to find success as well. Unfortunately, they run into you guys, and Mario Cristobal is the better coach here. Your offense shows out, as always, it's been this season, and you win this one 35-20. to 20. The following week is a game against North Carolina. North Carolina has high expectations. Mac Brown, who was possibly considering retiring this last year, decided to stick around at least for the time being. And I don't know how much longer he'll honestly be there, but he is undeniably one of the greatest coaches in college football and certainly during this time frame right now. He has done some great things in North Carolina, has came very close to getting to that 10-win season that he's been longing for since he started his second stint at North Carolina. But this one will not add to that because you guys beat them 30-28 to in Raleigh. The very next week, guys, this is going to be a tough one here. It's against the Clemson Tigers. You already know a lot about Clemson being in the same conference. Clemson has a phenomenal head coach in Dabo Sweeney. They have plenty of playmakers, tons of talent, and though they haven't had as much success recently, you know it's only a matter of time before Clemson really kicks it into gear. This one's going to be a tough game for you guys to overcome, and I just think they have a little bit more depth in certain areas. Though you have made progress, this will be your first loss on the season, 34-27. to Still kind of close. Next week, game against Virginia. There's not much that needs to be said about Virginia unless they surprise everybody, including the media. 
they have no chance of winning this game. Guys, even your defense shows up quite strong here. Once more, you win this one 30-17. The next week, a game against NC State, the Wolfpack. Their head coach has had them very consistent over the last decade, and he's been there for quite some time now too, maybe even 10 years. I think you have an opportunity to win this game, and it's going to be a tough one because it's on the road, but you guys have way too much talent to not win this game, and honestly, I think it really shines through this one. You win this one 31-20. to Week number 10, game against Florida State. Expectations are very high up there in Tallahassee, and rightfully so. They have an incredibly strong quarterback running back duo and plenty of depth and plenty of talent, same as you. However, I think Florida State is just the slightly better team even at week 10 in the season. I think you have an opportunity to win, but I just think Florida State's just a little bit more strong on the defensive side, and you guys lose this one 30-27 to in a heartbreaking loss. This, this could very well be the type of game where you flip a coin and pick the winner. And as always, it's very fun to watch. This year, I'm going to give the edge just slightly to the Seminoles. Week number 11 is a game against Louisville. Jeff Brom is also an alumni of Louisville, kind of like Mario is of Miami. So it's going to be interesting to see the head coaches battling it out. You know they're going to pour their heart and soul into this one. Guys, I would be shocked if you went 10-2 and two on the season. So I just think that it's still progress. I think Louisville is going to be a surprising team. This kind of seems like a trap game to me where Louisville just kind of barely comes out on top, and I'm expecting some good things from their offense. A lot of people might disagree with that, but that's just my personal opinion. They are going to be a tough team this year, and I have you losing just your third game of the season in Week 11, 31-24. to And I could be wrong about that one. That's the one that I'm the most uncertain on. I'll be honest. Week number 12, guys, you're sitting at 8-3, and three, and honestly, it's been a much better season compared to the 5-7 and seven season last year. So either way this goes, you guys are still on the up track, and things are looking great. Week number 12 against Boston College, a very winnable game out of the ACC Conference. You guys, I don't see them causing too much of an issue with you. Boston College kind of comes off as one of those random teams that can surprise from time to time. This is not the week it's going to happen, though. You guys win this one 34-21. Guys, that makes you 9-3 and three on the season. What an awesome season that is. That's going to give you an opportunity to win 10 games and get in that double-digit win column and kind of be where Mario Cristobal should be as a head coach. The guy's a great coach. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I loved him at Oregon. I'm an Oregon fan, too. Um, just really exciting offenses, obviously. But he took it a different way and actually gave them strong defenses uh, pretty consistently and had some incredibly strong players on that defensive line. So it was really fun to watch. I hope he does the same thing for you guys, and I could definitely see it happening, especially with how much talent's in the area. So guys, like I said, 9-3 and three on the season, which is a wonderful season for the Miami Hurricanes. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I got a lot more content coming down the pipeline for you guys, and we're going to continue to count down to team number one of my top 50 teams. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll see you on the next video.